New tonight, a Buffalo couple is celebrating 45 years of marriage, but ending up together was not easy for them. News Force Marissa Perlman has more on their unique love story. Marissa? Well, Jackie Don, this is a love story, but a unique kind of love story. It goes like this A priest and a nun meet in a Buffalo Catholic church. They've taken vows to be celibate, but they say they quickly learned it was God's will they were meant to be together. You've heard it before, boy meets girl. She was vibrant, she was very social. A lot of the gifts that I did not have. Girl falls for boy. I think, oh boy, this shouldn't be happening, but you know, he's pretty handsome. But it's not often they've both taken a vow of celibacy. It was the only thing I ever wanted to be, but that was priesthood. I knew I had wanted to be a nun for years. Father Frank Endress and sister Marianne Rosar met at a Catholic church in Buffalo's Black Rock neighborhood more than 40 years ago. The nuns came back from summer vacation, but there was a new member among them. Growing up in strict Catholic families, they were taught to suppress all romantic feelings, but working together, they grew close. I could tell that I wasn't um, as good a celibate as I could have been. And seeing each other day in and day out proved to be too hard. I felt we were getting too close. Then I thought, this is distracting to the point where I became a nun to become a nun. And now I have this other element of a possible interest in somebody else. So in my mind, I thought, this probably shouldn't be continuing. Entrus and Rosar transferred to separate churches. They decided to make no contact for two years. It was difficult. It was a challenge, but I figured my vocation at that time was to be a nun, and I really wanted to give it all I had. But on the other hand, it was lonely. For the first time, that loneliness of celibacy became real for both of them. The loneliness did not leave me. It was there all along, and I was having to acknowledge that. What do I do? What do I do? I can't live this way. So after two years, a decision, and then a phone call. Out of the clear blue, Frank had called and said he had something to tell me. I didn't know she didn't know. And I says, I'm leaving the active ministry. I was so pleased. I thought, well, I'm leaving too. <laughs> so... Uh, it, it just, it, it was another God's will thing. Endress and Rosar on their own had each decided the church was not their path, but their path had led them back to each other. A short time later, at Mass in 1970, a proposal. I couldn't ask for a better person to marry. But leaving this life wasn't easy. When it was time to leave, it was rather a shock to them. And uh, yeah, it was difficult. The couple went to the bishop and sent a request to Rome so that they could get married in a Catholic church. Then one week before their wedding, they got word that ceremony wasn't happening. Then it became very sad because we were told we couldn't get married. And we had a right to get married through the church. So in a private ceremony, just a few weeks later, they became Frank and Marianne Endress. I would have never thought after being a nun for 10 years, meeting somebody who was religious like my life was and uh, the happiness had evolved in spite of all the disappointments and the sadnesses and the humiliation in some cases it just made us stronger people now the couple is fighting for the married priesthood this is the right for priests and nuns to marry and then still practice in the church they say they're fighting for the right to do what they love while being in love Love you, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Don, Jackie, this couple is actually featured in a documentary. It's called Let My Priest Go, and it's by a local filmmaker. Her name is Brenda Turtletob, and if you head to our website, there's a link there. You can watch the full documentary that she put together. Very interesting story, uh, Marissa. Now, you say they're pushing on a crusade for the married priesthood. What's that about? So, married priesthood, it's pretty much just as it sounds. This couple wants to petition the Catholic Church in Rome to change the holy laws so that priests are allowed to marry and have families. They say the number of people who want to be priests or nuns around the world is rapidly declining. They say that's largely because most people don't want to be celibate. So, there are actually a couple of hundred uh, married priests right here just in western New York alone. They're organized. They have an international community and all of them are on this same crusade.
Very interesting. And